quick disclaimer, I will be talking about my leg break in this video, so if that's not for you, then click off now. There will also be photos of the injury. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back. I'm Jordan Blatchford. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how exactly I broke my left leg. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date with my recovery process. So before I broke my leg, I was going to the gym about four or five times a week. And uh, I have been going to the gym on and off for about five to six years before that. And as you can probably guess, I absolutely loved it. And to be out of that is a shocker. I'm not a fan. Strength was the main thing I was working on. Um, and just putting on overall size. My personal best for the leg press is 495 kilos for six reps. Not that I could push anything like that now. So I'm, I'm gonna take you back now to the 11th of December. Be me, right? I've just finished my work week and I'm sat, sat, sat on the sofa on a Friday watching, watching you know, the Pish, Pish TV channels that are on. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in an iron about going to the gym. So I'm like, you know what? It's legs today. I'll go to the gym. As soon as I'm in the gym, that's me. That's me ready to go. Even if I wasn't feeling it, now I'm there, I'm going and I'm going to hit it. So I do my standard warm up, uh, which is just warming up the calves, warming up the thighs, uh, get on the calf raises for a bit, a couple lunges, nothing too major. And then once I'm warmed up, I head to the leg press. Now, for those who know me, they'll know that I've always loved my legs. Too much, some might say. But on this particular day, you know, December the 11th, I get on the leg press, I warm up, uh, and I, I started off with 200 kg as a warm up, did 8 reps, fine. So at this point I'm getting ready for my second set, nothing out of the ordinary, I've just put uh, two, 2 extra 20 kgs on either side, uh, so I'm now on 240 uh, for a nice little warm up. I wasn't, wasn't aiming for my PB this day, I was just, just going for what I could, and then as soon as I was happy, that was it. So the way I've always done my leg press is you'll come down to 45, no need to really go any further than that, and then push back up. You're getting a, a decent range of motion in, uh, but on this day, uh, on the on the on the sixth rep out of my eight, so I'm getting close to the end, it all went tits up. So I'm coming down. I've just done my sixth rep. I'm on to my seventh now. I'm just easing, not up, easing into it. And what do I do? I come down slightly too far, to the point now where I'm I'm pushing really really hard just to the point where i'm gonna you know something's gonna come out of my pants what happens the unthinkable i've been meaning to get new shoes for the gym for a good month and i'm wearing these shocking pair of adidas green running shoes i've got no traction on the bottom of my shoes what does my right leg decide to go and do that's just gonna fall out the machine so i've pushed so much against this machine and my, my right leg has just gone I'm having none of it. So that's 240 kilograms on my left leg that's already too far too far down for me to start pushing back properly and I'm at a point now where I'm too low that I can't push back and the locks uh, the locks to lock the weight off that's that's too low down as well I can't lock the weight off so of course the weights come all the way down. Um, and my left leg has come down and my ankle has curved in as it's coming down. My my leg has, has snapped in half, uh, clean, clean off. I must have I must have blacked out at this point. My girlfriend is, is uh, screaming uh, and she's gone to get help. And I, I must come back too. And I just look and I still have this, this image ingrained in my head. It comes to be at night whilst I'm trying to sleep. I look at my leg and my leg is off of the foot plate, but my foot is is still on the foot plate. So I'm looking at my leg and it's it's like that. And I'm sat there going, I've royally messed this up. So at this point I'm sat in this kind of like dystopian um freeze frame where I'm just sat looking looking at what was my leg. My missus has currently gone to call the ambulance. She's outside. Uh, Louis, who is the owner of the gym that I'm currently at comes over, pulls me out the machine, and he's now looking after me. I'm on the floor. Uh, so big shout out to Louis for this, honestly. He kept, he made, he kept such good care of me. Uh, in fact, those who were just coming to the gym, because it, it had just reopened in the afternoon, uh, they were also there looking out for me. Big thank you to all you guys. You know, I, I, I probably would not have remained as calm as I was able to if I was there by myself. I would say a big, big shout out for Mrs. for acting as quickly as she did uh, 
with everything that was going on. I'd have been distraught if it had happened to her. Now, I'm on the floor. And because I live in the middle of nowhere, I'm on the floor with my broken leg. I'm in shock for about 40 minutes. So the pain's bearable. Adrenaline's rushing from my body. But because I live in the middle of nowhere, I'm on the floor in that gym. And it's December, you know, it's, it's the winter. I'm freezing. And I'm on the floor for an hour and a half waiting for the uh, paramedics to turn up. And after that 40 minutes of adrenaline and shock wear off, I'm just, I'm in pain. Holding myself up, kind of sat with my, my left leg as straight as I could keep it. But because I'm getting cold, I'm starting to shake. And each little tremor in my leg, because obviously my foot isn't moving because my foot's not attached to my body anymore. Each little tremor uh, or shiver causes immense pain. So for the next, what, 50, 50 odd minutes, I'm lying there, I'm, I'm lying there like this. They're piling jumpers on me to try and keep me warm. Paramedics show up. They're trying to put a cannula in me. Because I'm so cold, they can't find a vein to put it in. They inject me with morphine and get me on the gas. And that's when they strap it up to get me on a stretcher and get me in the ambulance. At this point, I'm off my head. I don't even know what's going on because I'm pumped full of gas and morphine and I'm, I'm gone. So I'm in the ambulance. They're taking me to hospital. Uh, and my eyes are closed, but I know exactly the way I'm going. And I'm mapping it out in my head. Uh, the entire route and then when we get there the rest of this is just a bit of a haze and um, because of covid and everything that's going on the hospital was packed so i'm just kind of there they take the they take the strap off they put a cast on and i'm now just in um in a hallway because it, it's completely overpacked uh, until later on i was put in my own room before surgery I didn't realise until I came out of hospital, uh, leg break surgery is horrendous. I'm not going to show uh, a little snip of the surgery or anything. Uh, if you want to find that, there are videos on YouTube. I've watched it once now. I could not bring myself to watch it again. It is harrowing and brutal. But after the surgery, I'm in hospital for maybe about three days. I was there from Friday night till uh, Monday evening. And then I get picked up, taken home. And then that's me starting my recovery. And it actually wasn't until I got home that I realised... Uh, because obviously I'd not been walking on my leg, that my other foot was, was messed up. And to be fair, I probably should have kind of guessed, because the right foot obviously slipped out the machine. I actually sprained my right ankle as well, which only started swelling up um, as I started walking again. So we had a physio, she came to have a look at it and she said, yeah, you, you've sprained that. So that just made the entire scenario ten times worse. I'd already broken my leg, but now my good leg, so I thought, was rendered useless. Moving on to my recovery, the way I see it, I think I've done quite well. <laughs> or things considered. Um, after about four weeks, I was put in the, put in the air boot. Two weeks after that, um, I'm now weaning off of using the boot and I'm now actually, as I'm sat here speaking to you, um, I'm sat just in a pair of loafers, which are humming. They are, they don't smell good at all. But yeah, that's, that is how I broke my leg. Um, it's now just leading on to recovery phases. I'm slowly getting back to normality. And on Tuesday, I'm being taken up by my parents in my car to see if I, I, I'm able to drive. The doctors basically said uh, two weeks after my appointment, which is Tuesday, uh, I can, I'm allowed to be taken out of my car. And if I can successfully emergency stop, then I'm OK to start driving again. So fingers crossed for Tuesday so I can at least start getting out of the house because I've, I've not left the house since I did this. Um, other than like going to the doctors, which is, uh, it's been interesting to say the least. And then following on the first week of March, is when I can start doing my phase return back to work. And then, finally, first week of April, I have been told, and I'm, I'm skeptical about this because I don't know if I ever want to train it again, I'm allowed to start training my legs again, which just seems bonkers to think that I broke my leg in December. Come start of April, I can start training it again. It's manic, and I just want to say thanks to everyone um, that has helped me get through this. I've had so much support. And it has just been fantastic. Um, I don't know what I would have done without the support I've had, if I'm perfectly honest. Just huge, huge shout out to the NHS. Um, everyone that I, from the paramedics, to the nurses, to the people that welcomed me in, uh, to those that look after me on the ward, the doctors that did my surgery, and then uh, the doctors and nurses that I've seen going back in uh, for x-rays. Honestly, I can't be more grateful uh, and I just, want to say a huge thank you to you guys for especially in this current crisis put, putting yourselves out there and just helping idiots like me um who who, who break their legs uh or or anything 
<laughs> any, anything like that when all this is going on. Honestly, fantastic work. So yeah, that uh, that's how I broke my leg. Uh, it was a, a a leg press related injury. I say related. It was a full. It was it was on the leg press and I broke my leg. I hope you guys enjoyed and weren't too grossed out by it. Um, I tried not to go into too much detail, but still, it's it's a it's not a nice thing to listen to. And again, huge shout out to everyone that's that supported me through this time. And if you have enjoyed the video, for whatever reason you might have, <laughs> it's not been a pleasant video, then hit that subscribe button. And if there's any content you want to see from me relating to fitness or my recovery, leave a comment down below. And yeah, um, thanks for watching this extremely morbid video.